Up to now, we've analyzed in the last two videos how the goods market in an open economy is affected by changes in domestic income and uh, therefore changes in domestic demand or by changes in foreign income and therefore foreign demand. Now we want to analyze how the uh, goods market is affected by uh, an appreciation or depreciation of the exchange rate. And to do this, we have to discuss first the so-called Marshall Lerner condition. To start with, we have here uh, the net exports, which consist of exports that depend on foreign uh, demand and the exchange rate, imports that uh, depend on domestic demand and the exchange rate, multiplied by one over the exchange rate because we transform the imports into uh, units of the domestic good. Now the question is, what the effect of a real depreciation, so a decrease in the exchange rate, is on net exports? And there we have three different effects. First of all, we know there will be an increase in exports because uh, the domestically produced goods get cheaper abroad if the currency depreciates. But then it will um, uh, decrease imports because imports get more expensive, right? So foreign goods become more expensive if the domestic currency depreciates. And finally, the third effect is that there is an increase in the price of foreign goods because epsilon decreases, so one over epsilon increases, and this price effect would actually uh, reduce net exports. So the total effect uh, of the depreciation on net exports is a priori unclear. In general, we can say that a real depreciation will raise net exports if the exports increase sufficiently strong or the imports decrease sufficiently strong such that this increase in the price is compensated. Or in other words, if the quantity effect dominates the price effect, then the real depreciation will increase net exports. And this is exactly the Marshall Lerner condition. So if the Marshall Lerner condition is fulfilled, the effect of the exchange rate depreciation on exports and imports is sufficiently strong so that the decrease in the exchange rate increases net exports despite the fact that uh, the goods that are imported become more expensive. And of course, the reverse holds true under the uh, Marshall Lerner condition if the exchange rate appreciates, then net exports would fall. And in the following, in the next chapter, we exactly look at the effects of changes in the valuation of uh, the home currency. And for that, we will assume that the Marshall Lerner condition is fulfilled and refer to this case as the normal case.